GITV would like to thank our sponsors, Condor Outdoor, G4 Airsoft, Contour Camera, Aries by Z-Shot, and KWA. What's up GITV? My name is Tim. We have the one and only John Liu back in our studio again. Not a stranger to our studio. How you doing, John? Hey, bro. <laughs> we are here to talk about something really cool. Yes. Route 66. Brand new game that uh, is happening this year for the first time. Yes. I'm going to let you take it away. I want to know I want to know everything about this AO. Like, where, where did you find this place? Where <laughs> is it exactly? Route 66 AO actually has been there since 2006. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it was it reopened 2006. It went bankrupt for a while, reopened, then it, it shut down again. Mm -hmm. It was actually CEO of KWA, Mr. Peter Chang. Really? Who um, called me and said, look, dude, I really want to play there, and you're going to make it happen for me. <laughs> and my answer, of course, was, yes, sir. This was five years ago? <laughs> no, no, this was last year. Okay. But he, he's been, you know, obviously, to go to a shot show, back mm -hmm. and forth on bars, you know, yeah. you know, on 15 freeway. And he saw it, he kept seeing that a lot of you who live here for the longest time, you realize that weird looking patch of thing in route to Las Vegas on the left yeah. side of the freeway with tall palm trees. Mm -hmm. That's what that place is. We should explain to people that don't visit Vegas frequently or not from California, off the 15 freeway in between you know, California and yeah. Nevada, there's an abandoned water park. It's been there for a long time. I've never seen anyone in there, obviously because it's been closed. Right. Well. OPLC yeah. has secured it for Operation Route 66. Yes. This area, when I first went there, I, my reaction was, you know what, you know, game design important, but you know what, hell, I just want to play. I just want to be there. Very interesting. But uh, looking at the overall AO, we also realize we cannot be irresponsible and pack a lot of people in there. Mm -hmm. That's why we're telling everybody we can only limit it to uh, 250 players. It's going to be a pretty exclusive game then, I think. Yeah, you know, the, the people are like, oh yeah, the more people you pack in there, the more money you make, but that's not the point. Yeah, because you have so many people concentrated in one area, you can't move at all. Right. And that takes all the tactics out of it, Right. you need to have space to move. So having definitely a small amount of people in this in the space is going to be great. It's going to make the quality of the game a lot better. Mm -hmm. But man, I'm just so excited that it's at a watermark, because I don't, I'm sure other people are like this too. When I go places like the mall or just out somewhere yeah, really cool, I look cool. around and you're like, man, if I could play airsoft here, the grocery store, like places you visit every day, if just a, a battle yes. like, happened right now, that would be so cool. And a water park is definitely. Let's talk about the park a little bit. I mean, it's it's not like it's not like six flags, it's not that big no. of a facility. No. So how much square footage are we really talking about here? You know, I actually couldn't find enough information to figure out the exact square footage. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of went with uh, kind of eyeball the area based on our ten years experience with airsoft, mm -hmm. how many people we can put in here, so far and so on. Mm -hmm. I would say, for those of you who've been to Red Storm, uh, it's um, probably half the size of Red Storm. Half the size, okay. But you know, Red Storm had 300 players. Mm -hmm. This year, people hardly saw each other. Okay. So, 250 players at this AO, you will see each other. Uh, there will be a lot of um, good fighting. We're bringing in 10 crashed vehicles mm -hmm. as props to litter area that's a little bit too open. Okay. So uh, folks can move and get cover and all that kind of good exactly. stuff. Yeah. Um, I tell you that some of the coolest place I saw that made me want to play was the river system. Uh -huh. uh, you know, you go to theme park, there's always yeah, a river. Float in the raft yeah, but then yeah, yeah. because now it's dry, it work. so it's like bunker. Uh -huh. Oh man, that is so cool. There are five bridges uh -huh. across. Okay. So obviously, part of the scenario, well, you have to hold these bridges. You got to hold the bridgeheads. Uh -huh. And uh, the middle of the island, it has some sort of fuel tank that's all fenced in. Uh -huh. um, we're thinking maybe calling the island the nuclear island. <laughs> you cannot bring heavy weaponry in there because you don't want it to blow up. Yeah. So maybe when you enter the island, it's pistols only. Uh, okay. And to make it more interesting, kick it up a notch. And we're throwing a lot of new ideas into game design, how to make it more fun. What's the backstory for, for Route 66? Oh, Route 66 story. backstory is, uh, this is a post-apocalyptic mm -hmm. scenario. That makes sense. The International Federation Army. This is an army made up by all the big financial conglomerates of the world, including the United States. They now want to weed out the idealistic people who want to hold on to their homeland and traditions. Mm -hmm. So they want to crush every region one by one. Mm -hmm. So the IFA, International Federation Army, ironically, is going to be led by Warlord the Prof. Of course. <laughs> Igor. Of course. Crazy Igor. And they got to come in and try to crush California militia. So mm -hmm. I'm urging you, if you're part of SoCal, you're California, you know, fight for California militia. Uh, the leadership on California Militia, we're going to try to handpick 
the line calls made up on the recipients who live here in California. Because it's about California pride. Yeah. And the next battle, Battle of Arizona, mm -hmm. we're already working on the NAO, so it's IFA fighting Arizona militia. So this is going to be a recurring thing. Oh, yeah. 66. Okay, exactly. All the way to uh, Illinois. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Now is this, hold on, okay, and this is another thing that I should clarify. Is this like a Lion Claws weekend event, or is it a one day off? It's a weekend event. Okay. We initially thought about making it just a one day event, mm -hmm. but then we thought, you know what, this place is so unique, mm -hmm. it's almost not fair mm -hmm. for people to travel from Nevada or, you know, anywhere it's far, feasible, Arizona, yeah. for just one day. It's kind of not fair, although they'll probably go to Vegas and spend the rest of their money. <laughs> No, but it's always fun to have, you know, the type of events you have where you have to go camp out. Because that's where right. you really meet the community, you meet all right. your friends. And it really is like, a, I know a lot of people come from out of state to play your games. And it's where yes. they get to meet all their friends and play with. And so that's a big aspect of the game that's not even really airsoft related. It's really part of the community. So Correct. having a weekend long game like that is, is a lot of fun. And you're not yeah. like, you're not playing the whole weekend. So, you know, it's a little bit of airsoft, a little bit of barbecue, hanging out. Correct. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm just going to leave you with the last words. Anything you want to close with? Um, just want to remind all the players out there, you know, keep up your integrity and play hard. You know, there are so many games out there and the best thing you can do is play them all if you can. You know, we never tell anybody that whose game is better, whose game is not, because this is not a uh, patch and competition. It's not a competition. The more we go out there and play, the more we support the community, the better it is. And that's all there is to it. That is excellent. It was a pleasure having you, John, as always. always. Thanks for coming in. All right, bro. GITV is brought to you in part by Sig Sauer by Cybergun, Operation Line Claws Milsim Series, G&G &G Armament, KJW, and Javelin Airsoft Gunworks. At Airsoft GI, we're always looking to improve your shopping experience. This is why we've added a USPS shipping option for smaller qualified orders. If you're making a small order for a hop bucking, a patch, or a ball bearing, you can select USPS shipping to save about 50% over UPS ground.